so we've survived the one night in the hostel. It's now early on the Sunday morning um, and we're about to venture off. Um, the rain as forecast has come, it's not particularly heavy, it's light rain. And we've got probably five or six hours of driving ahead of us before getting back sort of mid afternoon. But what I wanted to do before we leave the hostel is just show people what the route is for today. So if you just come and have a look at this. So we're here somewhere in this sort of really, um, really quiet area around um, probably 20 miles south of the Elan Valley. That's the Elan Valley here. We're in this area just north of Lynn Brian Reservoir. And we're going to head back down into Clandovery where we're looking at, uh, we'll probably get breakfast there. And then quite early we want to do the Black Mountain Pass, which is, um, it's, a, it's a really renowned route in um, South Wales, over the Black Mountains here. It's all speed restricted now, so it's not as good as it used to be, but we're going to go over the Black Mountain Pass. We're then going to come back on this A road back into um, Senny Bridge and then a very short stint along the A40 and then there's a good road here that takes you north um, up and these are over the army ranges here so normally at weekends these are free and open to but there is access controlled a lot of it is single track and we're going to do a big sort of loop around these army ranges and then we're going to drop back where are we here um, back through the army ranges, back into Brecon. And then instead of going the sort of boring route along the A40, we're going to take this B road that just runs below the A40. And there's a little little hill we're going to go up, um, just sort of south of um, Crick Owl. And then we'll drop back into Crick Owl, into Abergavenny. And then we've got a, just a route back to Monmouth. Again, there's a B road that runs from Abergavenny into Monmouth, a really good driving road there and then we'll go back into Ross on Y. So we're off back down the forest track to get out the cottage. Um, the weather is, um, as you can see, is pretty miserable this morning. It's very windy, it's raining heavy, um, it's pretty much as the forecast. But that's not too bad because yesterday was mostly dry. We had a few showers during the day, but yeah, mostly dry. Today, uh, yeah, full blown wet it is. Um, at, least we'll, at least I'll be able to test this here, what the PS5s are like today. Um, and as I say, we're heading south, so hopefully we might run into a bit better of weather as we drop down to sort of the Brecon Beacons and the Black Mountains etc. So we've just come to the end of the lane and uh, Alex's exhaust has apparently um, fallen. What's happened, gents? Alex, it's mid pipe section of the exhaust. It's dropped. It seals it right out. I wouldn't do it to nothing decent, but my old road there. I've got the five inch, so I've just got to do my bag gasket. Yeah, it's great. I've had that bike on. Straight pipe. Yeah. There's always one on any road trip. No, he's making his mint in there. <laughs> Let's hope no cars come. Kerry Diggin. And what a place for the exhaust to drop off. The good news about having bad weather is the fact that um, the roads are generally much, much quieter. If it's too nice, if it's too sunny, you get the roads tend to be two, three times as busy. So, um, and what we're finding at the moment, there's hardly any traffic on these roads because of the really poor weather, um, which is always a bonus. 
and I have to say I was a little bit skeptical of the PS5 Mission and PS5 yesterday in the dry. Um, and that was probably where we were pushing on, but today in these pretty bad, poor conditions, wet conditions, the PS5s have been absolutely phenomenal. It, it, they almost give you as much grip in the wet as they do in the dry. Um, they've really come into their own, and um, yeah, they're absolutely brilliant. Give you, giving me so much confidence to be able to push on and and really and really test really test these tyres in the car. So when you take um, a bunch of cars over a few days, you always expect a few problems. We've had a couple of uh, minor problems. The, I was following the, the Golf earlier, Mark II Golf, down this really wet, heavy rain conditions. Golf was pushing on, I was behind it, and then all of a sudden I could see the passenger windscreen wiper just stopped working and it was flipping dangling down the left side of the Golf. And I was absolutely pissing myself laughing how Aaron managed to carry on pushing on with one wiper. Uh, and then the only other issue was um, the yellow McGann because it's so low to the ground, I think it's hit something coming back out of that forest track from the cottage and uh, on the midsection of the uh, uh, McGann managed with, we had got a few tools, managed to do a bit of a running repair and hopefully enough to, to get it back. So what is the best road? What's the road that I've liked most over the last couple of days? Well, do you know what? It's almost like saying pick who's your favourite son or your favourite daughter. It's almost impossible to do. Um, the roads north, the road from Clandidos up to, in fact from, from Raid up to Clandidos and Clandidos up to McClenlith. Some really fast flowing roads there, really, you can really feel the car, it absolutely comes alive. Um, from Talibont going across the top of the reservoir and down into Devil's Bridge, you've got the Elam Valley, you've got Limbrian Reservoir, one of the favourites of mine. You've obviously got the Black Mountain as well, how could you forget that? And the Army Rangers around Sennybridge, etc. So there's, it's just one road after another, and I think the summary really is to pick one, I, I don't think it will do, it, will do the others justice. I, I don't think there's been a poor road. I think if I asked any of the other eight guys, what do you think? What? And I think they'd all say the same. They've enjoyed everyone because everyone's brought and challenged them and their cars that much different. It really, there really isn't a bad road here in Wales. So we've come to the last stop here on the Sunday afternoon in, well the rain has eventually stopped but it's like gale force winds at the top of this hill, we're just south of Click Owl near Abergavenny, it's been a brilliant time, um, there's been a few issues, the yellow McGann dropped its exhaust which had to have a running repair this morning, the Mark II Golf has had a few issues including a wiper blade that flew off, um, but the STI has been absolutely brilliant. Other than really low MPG in the sort of 16, 17 MPG, it's been absolutely faultless. And you've got to say, four wheel drive, turbocharged in this weather, wind and the rain has been absolutely amazing. Loved every minute of it. Hope you have. If you have, as always, thumbs up, subscribe, and stay tuned. Another video next week. <laughs>